Hi, my name is Carlos Rivera. I'm the Global Product Specialist of FIFLO in DHI. And in this session, we will discuss another workflow about 3D and structured meshes in FIFLO. This video is part of a series of tutorials related to 3D and structured meshes with the software FIFLO. Today, we will talk about modifying an existing mesh. In the previous video, we discussed the use of the interactive 3D layer configurator for building and structure and layer-based models in FIFLO. With this option, you require input elevation data and using the different interpolation methods in FIFLO, you are able to build a 3D domain geometry. Today, we will discuss how to update or modify an existing 3D model. A 3D model could be a layer-based model, a fully or partially unstructured model in 3D. And in the next video, we will discuss how to integrate existing 3D geological model into FIFLO. The workflow is relatively simple. You require to define a volume for the selection, which is going to be used for the remeshing. Remeshing does not mean refinement, so we will pass a volume and the mesh generator will apply this volume and create a totally new mesh in full and structure with the triadrum. The selection could be defined by different methods in FIFLO, interactive tools, or selection by maps. Once the volume is defined, you also have the chances to proscribe, provide a polygon, segments, or points, new geometrical information, which could be used to constrain the generated mesh. Let's try to put in practice these different concepts in the graphical interface in FIFA. This example that we are going to use today was part of one of the scenarios that we used in the previous videos with the layer configurator. We create a five layer models. If you notice the middle layer, what is shown in the cross-sectional view in the upper window has the intersection of slices. We use for this problem a remeshing, a local remeshing, exactly an intersection point. This was the task of the layer configurator. We are going to take this model and improve the discretization level. We are going to run three different scenarios. In the first scenario, we will mesh only the entire model, improve the discretization. In the scenario two, we are going to introduce the tunnel with a drainage system. And in the scenario three, Again, with the drainage system, we are going to improve the elements around the drainages. To start, you need to open the meshing panel. In the meshing panel, choose the option Tech Gen. This is our 3D and structure mesh generator. In Tech Gen, we require to indicate the volume being used for the remeshing. Go to the section Element Selections, and in Element Selections, drag and drop the selection name previously stored in the selections panel. I'm going to take three sele uh, five selections from layer one up to layer five, drag and drop. As you notice, I have already modified some of the parameters. I'm going to explain these parameters now for this specific case. You can control the number of elements by changing the approximate number of elements or by imposing a global tetrahedron volume constraint. I use the volume constraint of 10 cubic meters. If you don't know what is a good guess for the volume constraints for your project, I would recommend you to go to the data panel, go to the options, auxiliary data, and choose elemental volume. This will give you the overview of the volume constraint in your existing model. Use a value close to the upper bound of the elemental volumes so that you will understand how many elements and the refinement resulting from this global tetrahedron volume constraint. If you take a small volume, it could happen that the flow or the mesh generator will generate a significant number of elements, which will increase significantly the calculational time. So you require to do a couple of tests, but it's not a big problem because it just requires a couple of minutes to generate a mesh in FIFLO. In the example, I will also like to activate the auction preserve mesh entities, layers, and elemental groups. This means that we are going to respect the existing layers coming previously from the layer configurator, these five layers. FIFLO is going to generate tetrahedral elements and full and structural mesh, but still maintaining the borders of the layers. 
I have also deactivated the auction interpolate data from all to new mesh. Since I haven't parameterized the model, so there is no need to interpolate. This will also accelerate a couple of seconds the remeshing process. In case you have already passed or have your material properties like conductivity or porosity in this model, you could activate the auction fee flow is going to pass automatically through the defined inter interpolation methods, the information from the old mesh to the new mesh. Finally, press in generate mesh and wait a couple of seconds. As you can notice now the mesh in process is ready, it's done. We can activate now the faces and take a look on the discretization level. So it's obviously that we have more elements now. If I look in the upper window, which corresponds to a cross-sectional area, cutting the different layers, I will notice that I have still the conduct of the geological borders. So if, let me activate the selection of layer three, which is the middle layer, and I can see that I have a final discretization, but the layer, the mesh generator has still prescribed these borders. Let's move to the next exercise where we are going to introduce a drainage in this layer. For the exercise, we have already prepared a file. It's a shed file in 3D. The file contains 3D polylines and it's called drainage. We can import the file in VFlow and display the file in the 3D view as usual. After several changes of the map properties, I can see the lines of the drainage. These are located in green. These lines do not exist yet in the mesh, so we are going to exactly build a mesh following the shape of these polylines, the drainage. This drainage could be an underground mine, a set of pies, a drainage facility in mining projects, etc. We repeat the same previous steps, selecting all the layers, drag and drop the layers in the meshing panel. We have already set the previous settings of global tetrahedron volume constraint of 10 cubic meters, preserve mesh entities true. This time we will add the drainage in the lower section. This means fee flow is going to use the geometry of the drainage also in the generation of the mesh. Press generate mesh and wait. The mesh is ready. You can see again the discretization level is, is finer now. As a result of the remeshing process, we have a selection automatically created called map drainage, edge selection. Let me activate the selection. It has 104 edges selected, and these correspond exactly to the geometry of the drainage shed file being added in the meshing panel before. If I look the second cross section, which exactly cuts the length of this drainage, I see there is a line corresponding to the drainage, this one here. We can verify this quickly by converting the edges to elemental selection. This will be will make the selection available also in the cross section. So in this selection, I have only one cutting point or two cutting points, and in this I have several elements being selected. In the next Example, we will control the size of discretization for these edges along the drainage. We are back in the original model, again with the same number of selections, layer 1 to 5, this time again the drainage, the polylines, global tetrahedron constraint is the same, preserve mesh entities through no interpolation, this time I will reduce the add-in sediment length constraint to 10%. Originally was 100%. This means that the mesh generator will take the input data as it is without any additional constraint. Now we are telling the mesh generator that each segment prescribed through the map drainage will be constrained to 10% of its length. This obviously will introduce more nodes, more elements and edges to the resulting mesh. Press generate mesh and wait the final results. Mesh is ready. I can see immediately in the cross-sectional view, cutting the drainage, that I have a higher degree of discretization exactly in the area of the drainage. Let me activate the selection of the drainages. This time I have 848 drainages. Obviously we have subdividing the small, the segments in small subsegments along the same geometry. And 
you can keep and try these refinements testing different settings of discretization for the drainage. We have reached the end of this video today. I hope you could learn one tip and trip about discretization in 3D with fully or partial and structural meshes. As I say, there is another video related to the integration of 3D geological models in FIFLO. Join me through this FIFLO community in our landing page and you will get more information and tips and tips about FIFLO. Thank you for participating and watching this video. I hope to see you the next time. Bye.